Acha, so we're going to have a lot of fun today. Okay, okay so I've planned, like, what we're going to do is we're going to play two truths, one lie. Okay. Okay. Done. So if you've been watching MMP, uh, you would know that we play, do this segment with a lot of our celebrities and in which I'm going to give three statements and two of them are true and one is lie and Natasha has to pick out which one is the lie and Natasha's going to do the same. And then we're going to talk a little bit about her beauty school, like some trends, like we'll talk about her life postpartum, about what marriage has been like after having a child, like, you know, so it's going to be a lot more motherly, like that's the new role that she, and phase of life that she's in. So are you ready, Natasha? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick up my phone because okay. all my Stuff lies are in there. here. <laughs> okay. 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 So let's begin. I have climbed an active volcano on the back of a mule. Okay. I don't like menthi. Okay. I have never missed a flight. You have never missed a flight. Is a lie. Yes. Unfortunately, I have missed a flight. You You're have right. missed a flight. Yes. Yeah, Can't I be. Have... I think everybody's missed a flight. You I've even missed a few flights. I'm so particular about flights, but I was flying from Vegas to New York and I wanted Anyways. Burger King. <laughs> So and you missed your flight. I missed my flight. But I hate those connections, by the way. A lot of times you're going, especially in the States, they literally shut. Like, there's no chance. Like, we used to being like in Pakistan, being like just five more minutes. They will shut doors and that's it. The plane's gone. It's no, happened, they, right? they took off. They took off before time because everybody had checked in. Okay, that's so, ridiculous. So they didn't wait. So they didn't make an announcement. Yeah. And they just they, mean. Actually, a lot of times when you're traveling internally, I feel they're kind they're, of mean. They're very yeah, yeah, they're, they're mean. very mean. This is like freaking like you're like cattle, nah? Yeah, like, and you're like chur, 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 chur. next. And one time we missed it, and then we had to be on the, at the airport, and the airport even shut down. So was, I'm forgetting exactly which state we were in, but the airport, like even the vending machines had closed since morning, so we had to wait for six hours before our next flight. So it was awful, awful, awful. awful okay, yeah. so yeah, good. Let's see if I can get yours. Okay, so let me go for mine. Okay. So I love rom-coms. My husband has twin brothers and um, I'm a great tarot card reader. Husband, twin brothers. No, he has twin brothers, <gasps> yeah. I, Dude, has I was terrible and you said better, you got one. <laughs> Which one no, is a lie? I hate rom-coms. So I'm a- Really? I hate them. I hate anything sweet, romantic. Oh, I only like drama, horror, uh, a lot of science fiction. <laughs> I love science fiction, but I also like the days when I would just want to curl up. Horror, so I remember that I didn't see a lot of horror, but now I Now I'm like, there's so much horror that you see in life in general. In life, bhai, ab to life is a horror. Yeah, yeah, so I don't watch that, but I do, I do, I don't like rom-coms at all. So my husband loves like lighter movies and TV. <laughs> and I'm like, please watch that, like cartoon, like animation movies and stuff. Oh, no, 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 only drama, science fiction. Uh, yeah, I like action. I like a lot of documentaries. Okay. Acha, moving on. Uh, how has uh, life been postpartum? I know that it uh, it's one of those things that people here don't generally tend to talk, talk about. about. And postpartum for a lot of women yeah. can be uh, very, very dark, very heavy yeah. and not pleasant. Yeah, so for me, I feel uh, the takeaway from it is that you hear a lot of things about motherhood. Ke, oh my God, I know you'll see these photo shoots or you see so many, you know, stories and stuff that talk about the joy of uh, being a mother, which is there. Uh, but I think we don't talk enough about the struggles of being a mother, which is very much there as well. So as much as you love this child and want this child, there are nights when you'll be crying or you'll be completely frustrated, your life completely changes, you will never be that person again. So for me, I was also someone who suffered from very intense postpartum. I had very intense postpartum depression for almost, I would say, a year. So the first three, four months were crippling. Um, and I spoke about it on my platform. Yeah. I wanted to speak about it. You know, I posted my body a certain way, being like, this is what I look like. I have not lost weight after giving birth to my baby, and it's okay. Um, and I spoke about my hair falling. You know, there's a lot of body, like physical changes, emotional changes we go through. And I wanted to be not apologetic about it. Like, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are apologetic. Like, you want to put up nice pictures because you're like, wait, she has still has not lost weight, but you're like, it's a completely, my body has just created life, you know. I have hormones ranging, my child is running. And the other thing is, you know, during pregnancy, you're still actually okay because you're running around, your life is still the same. The minute you have the baby, your life changes forever. Yeah, because I feel like, and I do agree with you, because I think like, I mean, I'm, I'm not married and I don't have a child, but I feel like with my friends even, yeah. When they were mad, people like, you know, like, Badaz aapko pe kehte hai ki jab shaadi ko tu zindagi badal jati hai, yeah. your life changes. Yeah. So, jab humaris mein, our friends started getting married, we didn't, we saw a bit of a change. Yeah, like, but okay, not, yeah. but not really. Yeah. But the real change came overnight when the, the baby yeah. happened. Happened, huh? yeah. 
that is when the yeah. change, change happens. Came. Yeah. Uh, next thing I want to ask you is, and like, I think that you're possibly the best person to ask this question. What are some of the most uh, common misconceptions people have about beauty influencers? Because there are a lot. And I think, like I said, that I think in, in my opinion, and which is a very humble, uh, non-existent opinion, <laughs> you are possibly the only influencer in Pakistan. Like yes, if I have to true. rate you out and I have to put you on an international platform, I will put you next to Huda. I, you are that for Pakistan, right? Like if you, if somebody, I see a trajectory going someplace, that's, you are that person okay. for us. So what are for you some of the major misconceptions? Well, I think a lot of the major mis misconceptions are, uh, I think, kind of uh, helped to develop by the influencers themselves. So I feel um, what I would like more than saying major misconceptions, I feel there should be more transparency, which is starting to happen now. People realize mm -hmm. that authentic content gets you more likes, you know, uh, people resonate with it a lot more. So I feel... I also slowly as much as that's another thing that I've started to do on my platform. You'll see me dressed up and everything, but you'll also see me equally not dressed up. Yeah. And, you know, in a, in a certain way, speaking about reality as well. We have a lot more coming up also that we want to kind of mold around that topic. Because, uh, you know, I feel um, especially about uh, beauty influencers, I think it's, there's a responsibility as well. So there's a responsibility to be authentic and transparent that it is an illusion that we are showing you and you love it but it's like watching a great movie but movies are not real and so yeah. is social media is not real not so i think even huda on the subject yeah. of huda she started to do a lot of that now yeah so she went through a whole time when it was all about very artificial beauty i feel but even she's coming around to it a lot of influences are coming around to it uh, so I think that is something I feel should happen. Misconceptions can be that people can be just very harsh yeah. and they can be kind of cruel, you know, because they think, uh, oh, she, you know, what is she doing? Do you wear makeup all the time? Or, you know, what, like some people will come and be like, do you do makeup all the time every day? I'm like, obviously not, but it is the makeup page. So what are you doing on the page yeah. if you don't want to see the content? So I think people in generally on social media can be harsh, but I feel also, um, I tell this to everybody who wants to be on social media that that's part and parcel and you have to learn to kind of roll with the punches yeah. and uh, get thicker skin and actually develop um, and it's very important for all of us to de develop a more healthy kind of self-esteem that you can not care what someone is saying so I always say this I don't really care for compliments and I don't really care for critique very much either yeah. both of them don't influence me very much yeah. so if someone says something nice I'm like their perception and if someone says something bad, it's their perception. Their perception. So it has nothing to do with me, actually. Yeah. Either thing has to do with the person and what they're going through or not going uh, through. Agreed. Yeah. And I think that's I think that's uh, when we were talking about earlier also, yeah. you know, on the phone, yeah. that internal, jo aapka ek, uh, you know, your inter like internal beauty versus external beauty. And like, I think like a lot of your experience is like, that it, how you perceive me has nothing to do with me actually no. it's everything to do yeah. with you yeah. so if you don't like me and you find me irritating that's more of your problem yeah. than my problem because Absolutely. my life is going to keep on going but yeah. you are yeah. like rona ro rahe hoge ke, oh my god and who has the time you know i feel like they have long bahut time bahut long bahut time hai problem ye agar ye time agar na hua kab hota aur jinke paas time nahi bhi hai na wo bana lete yeah. time <laughs> that's true actually but i feel like but that's you know it's sad because i always when so people say what do you wish upon someone who's been who's being mean to you I'm like, I wish them themselves upon them yeah. because they are already so miserable. Who would be more miserable? I mean, what's more miserable yeah. than having that as an aim of your life, right? So I think that, I mean, I, good luck with being with themselves. With themselves. <laughs> Aja, before we wrap up, because yeah. uh, it's been a really fun conversation, um, tell me about your beauty school because I'm very excited to. So that's the next step. What happened during Corona was, and with my baby, that I knew I had to change the format of my, uh, you know, business. So we went more online because that's the future. Yeah, uh, I mean, I know everything is going to be all about being online and slowly. So we started a YouTube channel also. I started being more active on videos, etc. on my Instagram. More of me, I mean, yeah. than you've ever seen before, I think. Uh, and I always said I would never do it. But I realized that Corona pushed us all in all uncomfortable into. zones. And then the beauty platform came uh, across. So 
I have seen it abroad, but I haven't seen anyone do a really great beauty platform in Pakistan. So it's Beyond Beauty Natasha School. Yeah. So we already did classes on ground. But what happened when I did them online, I realized that the fa the people or the people wanting to do the courses were everywhere. So there's someone in Hong Kong, there's someone in Australia. And I realized there's a whole lot of people that I was completely excluding by just doing them in Pakistan. Or even if we did them in different cities, it wasn't enough. Um, so this is going to be an ongoing platform where I will put all kinds of videos from skin to makeup to hair to like face fitness, face yoga. Uh, we're going to be doing an intense amount of videos and you can actually subscribe to it and become like a subscription thing as well for, for like for a year or you can like yearly do a subscription or you can even buy the video separately.